Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to have just a quick look at the 2023 August Debian image release for Division 5.2 RISC-V single board computer. So here we have the post on the forum. And here is the link to download it. So I downloaded it from OneDrive. And this time they have separate images for booting from microSD, the NVMe or the eMMC. And when you want to boot from NVMe, uh, you also have to update the firmware. But uh, if you have updated the firmware previously and you're still only booting from microSD, then it's not mandatory to update the firmware. So in my case, I went with the microSD file and here you can see it. So here's a description of the update. Um, they also have a video for Linux driver for Wave 511 decoder. I tried that, but um, yeah, YouTube wasn't playing anymore in Firefox or Chromium. So um, yeah, do be careful with that. Um, as it says here that um, media playback uh, that VLC, Firefox, FFplay, GStreamer, that they can use the hardware codec. And they also say that there's some change for the GPU, but in my quick test, I didn't see any spectacular improvements there. Um, so there's still some known issues, uh, well, with Chromium, FFmpeg is not working. So I also didn't see any, uh, good performance with Chromium and YouTube. So, um, yeah, they also fixed VLC a bit, uh, oh, sorry. That's still a known issue. <laughs> um, but they did uh, fix some issues with VLC. And they're still working on the Vulkan support. They're still improving the full HD video playback. Um, so there's still some things to look out for in the next release. So if you go to the wiki, yeah, then if you haven't resized the partition yet, then uh, there are instructions to do this even when you're booted. Uh, there is one little thing that, um, so here they say like, okay, to list all the available elements, use this command, uh, that one works, but then they want you to use fdisk. Well, let's just do something simple. And then it says command not found. So. You might wonder why that is, but it's because sbin or system binaries is not in your path. So uh, one way to start it is just to add the path. And I'm using sudo because fdisk prefers to have elevated writes. So like this. And then you can see that fdisk is available. 
so one other thing you can do is just add sbin to your path with this command. And you can just follow this procedure uh, to uh, resize the partition to make use of the whole micro SD card or your whole boot device at least. Uh, yeah, so you have to go all the way up to the resize to FS. And they also list some settings that you have to change in VLC. Um, well, for me, those settings were already set. So uh, perhaps I'm guessing for you it will be the same. But just in case, uh, if VLC is not working, just check those settings. And to get the additional packages like Chromium, um, so here's the script to download it and install it. And with line three, it's better to execute it with elevated write. So just put sudo in front of it. So I guess that's all for this part. So now let's just say, we're going to test WebGL Aquarium. And as I said, I didn't see any big improvements with the GPU. So I think with the previous release, we had five frames per second with 500 fishes. And here, once it has been fully loaded, then usually that's when we get the full performance. And now it says six frames per second. Well, you can argue that from five to six, that's like a 20% improvement. But um, yeah, once we have full hardware acceleration, then we should see a much bigger number than that. So that's the WebGL Aquarium. Um, video playback, uh, H264. So here we have Big Buck Bunny Full HD from the Internet Archive. So if we try to play it like this. Then here you can see some stuttering, but it's a big, big improvement from the previous release. And also the higher resolution is uh, much better looking. Oops. So this is playing uh, online. And just as a comparison, um, I installed the Firefox add-on H264 Fi, so that means that you can force YouTube to stream H264 instead of VP8 or VP9. So as you can see here, that's installed here. So if we go to YouTube and then we can try to play it also from YouTube, but yeah, it's, I don't know why, but the performance is not very good with YouTube. So let's just say we want to try 1080p. And then we'll try to look at the stats for nerds. Uh, 
and as you can see there's there's a lot of dropped frames so yeah this is something that still needs to be improved so as a last test i downloaded big bug bunny from the internet archive uh, so let's just play it with vlc So there's still some stuttering here and there, but um, yeah, it's very good to see that at least it is acceptable and the resolution in 1080p uh, makes it much more enjoyable than with the last release. So I think with this release, uh, at least for me, most of the changes, they are with video playback and I'm really happy with those. Um, yeah, who knows in the future, uh, hopefully VP9 will also get hardware accelerated and then hopefully YouTube will also get uh, some big improvements. Um, yeah, for the people that want to boot from NVMe, um, yeah, it's recommended to update the firmware. And uh, that's something I did in a previous video. So I'll put a link to that video in the description. And well, yeah, I'm also still waiting for Vulkan support. Um, I will try to do some more tests uh, to see if I can find some improvements with the GPU, especially with OpenGL, who knows. Uh, as I said, this is just a quick look at the August 2023 Debian update for the Vision 5 to Risk 5 SBC. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.